April is National Volunteer Month, and if you've ever wanted to give of your time or talents, but you didn't know where to begin, this week's Linda Likes It is for you. It's all about the Volunteer Center in Fort Wayne, a nonprofit that connects people who want to help with community organizations that need the help. I recently saw on Facebook, April 24th is the annual Volunteer Expo at Glenbrook Square Mall in Fort Wayne. Photographer Chad Fordyce helped me out the other day and talked with the Volunteer Center's executive director and with a longtime volunteer. So here's this week's Linda Likes It. People with the Volunteer Center in Fort Wayne are celebrating 20 years for the nonprofit. The Volunteer Center works with 143 partner agencies and has some 2,700 people registered through the website. Some volunteering is done here, like filling thank you goodie bags for a couple upcoming events. But most is done on site at other nonprofits, places where volunteers are crucial because money to pay staff is tight. It's very challenging in, in general for all industries, for nonprofits even more so. So they're trying to retain staff, they're having to pay top dollar to retain that staff, which means they don't have as much help. Executive Director Ani Etter says seniors made up the majority of volunteers years ago, but today it's different and there's always a need for volunteers. We're seeing more and more uh, younger volunteers that are coming into the equation. So individuals that maybe they're not retired yet, they're still working or they're empty nesters, they have a little more time, or even families that are looking to volunteer together. Marianne Thomas has been volunteering through the center about 15 years. She has a disability and heard about the volunteer center through Turnstone. I'm doing a job and plus it gives me a feeling and a sense of worthiness. This is what I get from it. And I'm helping someone that needs help, you know. And you can help by signing up at the Volunteer Center. Weekly, monthly, whatever commitment you can make, they'll match you with the best nonprofit for you. It's a great resource. It doesn't cost anything for the volunteer and it doesn't cost anything for the partner agency to request volunteers. And Ani says by helping, the rewards are many. We have seen some amazing friendships develop among the volunteers. And like you saw them today, they're having a great time. I mean, they're working, they are helping our community, but they're having a great time. They create a community by being together. Again, the Volunteer Expo is Wednesday, April 24th. That's next week from 3 to 6 p.m. at Glenbrook Square Mall. And you can learn much more about organizations where you may want to volunteer. You can also, for any questions, go to volunteerfortwayne.org or you can call 260-424-3505, 260-424-3505, and they will help you out. I love that place, and uh, hopefully I get to visit them in, in person. We had a family emergency the other day, and Chad was nice enough to do that. So It is a wonderful organization. It, it really is, and Ani's been there a long time, one of the hardest working people you'll ever meet, and one of the sweetest, too. Yeah. So. All right.